Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to Penumbra Overture. I believe that's how it's pronounced. I'm sorry if I fucked it up, but uh, I tried. Uh, anyways, I've been wanting to do kind of a, a scary game for a while now, because it looks like a lot of fun, especially with the reactions and all. And uh, Amnesia is a pretty, pretty good one, but obviously it's been played through many a times by a lot of people. So I decided to go with this game, which is actually a series that the makers of Amnesia did before Amnesia. I believe they did three games in it, and this is just one of them. It looked like uh, one of the more interesting ones, so I decided just to pick this one. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy, and you know what? What I'll actually do is I'll turn off my lights for you guys. I mean, it's going to scare the shit out of me, but I'm going to go over here. I'm going to turn off the lights, and I'm also going to close this door. I got laundry on the go, but oh shit, it's dark in here. Oh my god, this is going to be fucking terrifying. All right, let's just go new game. Uh, normal. We'll do normal. Oh, there's cutscene. Like so, uh, shut up and is is there any dialogue? Maybe my story began in February, year two thousand. Oh, there's dialogue. I'm not gonna make the same mistakes my father made. Howard vanished from my mother's life before I was even in it. So when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard. But he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago, and said the old book what? and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever take. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realised my father had disappeared three decades ago most of the day, and I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12 hour journey that would lead me into my past. Well that's a great way to start this off, I've literally already looked over my shoulder two or three times just during that cutscene. Cause man, it is it is dark in here, and I I'm usually one of those people that never play with like my lights on off, on. Uh, I usually always have lights on and stuff whenever I'm playing games, or watching movies or all that jazz. Okay, what do we got here? Left mouse, right. Okay, I got you. Hey, it would appear as though it's not Jack Daniels, but Jake Daniels. What's this shit? Oh God, he just broke on the bed. <laughs> Dude, that's a pretty firm mattress, and I don't know if I'd, uh, ew, rough sleep. Here, what do we got here? There's a can. Notebook, huh? Okay, so this is where we... Okay. Good to know, good to know. What about the map? Good decade or so to date, but the landmarks don't change much in Greenland. Alright. What do we got going on in this duffel bag? Nothing. Okay, this drawer. Oh, hello. Flashlight. Nice, nice. And then definitely that's gonna come in handy. Cherry bird. The fuck out the oh, fuck. <laughs> what do we got in here? Uh, more, more Jake Daniels, huh? Okay, I'm gonna try to throw it out the window. Somewhere out there, there must be land and answers. Uh, just a quick note before you set sail, dearest Eric. Um. Ooh, what's this? Uh, 
the crew seem friendly enough, but just in case, I lock my valuables. I'm pretty sure the keys in my inventory somewhere. Once I found it, double clicking on the left mouse should get it selected. Then I can press to interact on the padlock to unlock it. Okay, okay. Oh, well, would you look at that? Nice, nice. Duffel bag, you get in the way and shit. Dude, I'm just tearing this fucking shack apart. Well, boat room. Okay. Glow stick and some batteries. What else do we have going on in here? I think it's. Oh, the boat's chugging at me. I think uh, we're blowing its horn. I think we're just about there. Or are we? Oh, we can leave. Guess we're there. As I stepped off the boat, setting out into the blizzard that had formed around me, I had realized how utterly devoted I'd been to the discovery of my father's past. I had no idea what to expect. Soon enough, my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I lost my orientation or my spirit first, but I lost the feeling in my extremities soon after. I knew hypothermia was setting in. I started looking for shelter. Whoa, that's bright. Really? Like, they just drop me off off the boat in like a blizzard in what looks to be the middle of nowhere well, that's not cool oh, this is cold all right what do we got going on what's this a hatch huh frozen solid must break the ice those barrels you can't doesn't look like I can pick up anything it's probably something back here let's take a look up on this hill what do we got? Oh, what are these kind of... Ooh! Hello, Mr. Rock! Okay. I'm gonna toss it. I'm gonna toss it from here. <laughs> okay, you know what? This is failure. I wonder how far, if you have to actually... Can you just drop from me? Oh, wow. I guess that uh, answers that. What do we do? We spin this bad way? Yeah, okay. Spin it around. Open it up! Down we go. Into uh, what is hopefully something not terrifying at all, and indeed a uh, wonderland under the frozen uh, nest that is above. Sounds like I am uh, descending the stairs. Not stairs, ladder. Ladder! Close that thing up because it is one hell of a storm up there. It's really quiet now. You're just whispering, which is really terrifying. Going on, you look a little bit dazed. Jesus, my head, I can't believe I fell that far and survived, although looking around, maybe I didn't. What is this place? Holy shit. Should have known the rusty old ladder wouldn't hold my way, but I didn't have any choice. I'd rather die down here than suffer cold any longer. Yeah, fucking ladder, man. Just can't trust those ladders. Okay, it's time to flashlight time already. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, empty boxes, ammunition. What is this place? A steel rod, huh? <laughs> Give me that flare. Give me that flare. Remove these. Oh, you can. Oh, another flare, huh? A heavy looking wooden, wooden barrel. Something that could be excited, huh? Hello? Hello? Looks, looks rather safe. Another flare. Jeez, they're just giving me all these flares. Holy shit, it's a hammer. You know what they say. So I go... Oh, it looks like I have to move my mouse in order to use it. What the hell is this? Can I break it with the hammer? Oh, shit! Crouch on in there? No. A metal shelf. Okay. I think... I guess you probably can't move stuff. Can I grab this? Oh, you can't. Yes! Sure, I'm gonna go check this door right here because I didn't even bother to check it. It's stuck. Well, I guess that's probably the way around then. What do we got in here? Nope. That was a terrifying noise. Alright, well, there's that. I wonder what's down here. Round and round we go! Where this terrifying tunnel stops, nobody knows. Okay, what the hell? It looks like the same place. I guess it's just a circle. Holy shit! Okay, that fucking scared me a little bit. Satch is seriously solid or won't open my hand. Someone obviously wants to keep people out or in. 
is this? Oh. Oh, this is this is the door that's blocked. What do we got? Uh, looks like some kind of industrial mechanism. Although there's a hole in the center, no way to operate. Uh, what about the steel rod I grabbed? Aha! Fits pretty comfortably, huh? Is it open now? Fuck me! I, I don't want to go down here. There's some some awfully terrifying. Uh, Whatever I was descending into was a hundred feet below ground, protected by two solid metal hatches located in a remote Arctic wilderness and buried beneath the snow. I didn't know what to expect, but it made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. I'd never given it much thought before, but I realized that our entire society is a network of safety nets, emergency services, at the end of a phone line, health and safety in the workplace, friends, family, lovers, all there. If something goes wrong, part of my carefully designed structure to prevent all but the most mundane of emotions. Once again, I felt like I did when I was in school, surrounded by a closing ring of older kids, knowing anyone that might help me. Friends, parents, teachers were too scared or too far away. Holy shit. Okay, uh, where, where we came from? It is dark as shit down here. Living down here, heroics for Hollywood actors, frankly, and some not taking any chances. Face against anything down here, one less section. Caution is stealth, or my only defense is now. Staying low. Okay, C. Makes it quieter. We hide for a couple of seconds, perfectly that'll make me properly hidden. Looks like we got a map here. So, where to first? Let's, let's go storage. Holy shit, dude. Something's gonna jump out. This is bad. It is dark. It. Oh my god. Why, why are you so dark? Mine shaft. Why are you so dark? The workshop. It's locked. Okay, the storage. Uh, oh, your location. Oh, so I passed it. I passed the storage already. Office. Or is it down here? Oh my god. What does that say? It's like storage room. Why is there like blood coming or is it rust or is it something terrifying or Why are you so dark? Storage room? Okay. Anything to get out of that mine shaft. That is scary. Hopefully, it's not as terrifying inside the storage room, which is less than likely. It's probably going to be uh, more terrifying, to be honest. Uh, yeah, it's pretty scary in here. I'm just gonna crouch down just for safety. Okay, it's locked. What's this? Are those boots? Hell yeah! Oh, lots of paper boxes and rusty nails. What's this? A lighter. It wasn't empty, but it'd be a handy thing to have. Oh, shit. Oh, God, I can hear something, too. All right, sorry, guys. I apologize for the interruption, but sometimes my dogs can just be the biggest jerks. Let me tell you, what the hell is this? Shows some kind of trapdoor, but I can see and see where it would be. Circles equal dead. Okay, that chattering or whatever the hell it is, it sounds like scratching. It's fucking scary. 